Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another information session. I'm going to be sharing a bit of knowledge with you guys, a few concepts that I think would really really help you understand this whole weight gain, weight loss thing, like how it really works. And I've tried to simplify this concept as much as I could and present it to you all in the most fun manner. But if at any point of time you feel like this video is going too fast or you feel like you know you just need to stop and process your thoughts, you can just hit the pause button and really understand each bit of information before you move on to the next. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so through this video, I'm going to show you how weight loss and gain actually works. Do you find that you've been regularly working out and also doing your part in terms of eating healthy, but for some reason still aren't seeing the kind of progress that you'd like to? Well, here's what you need to know. Net energy or the energy left over at the end of your day is what ultimately contributes to whether you gain or lose weight. So the equation that you all need to keep in mind is net energy is equal to energy input minus total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. Now I'm going to break these components down further just so you get a better understanding of what they really are. The first component is energy input, which quite simply put is everything you eat and drink. So in order to figure out how much you're actually putting into your body, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, track your meals. There are plenty of free apps available on the App Store to do this and my personal favorite is MyFitnessPal. The second component is Total Daily Energy Expenditure or TDEE, which in itself has four parts. Basal Metabolic Rate, Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis, Physical Activity and the Thermic Effect of Food. So now let me explain what each of these really mean. Basal metabolic rate is basically the energy required for your body to function properly, the energy you burn at rest. In order to find out your BMR, there are plenty of BMR calculators available on the internet which are fed with the formula so that you don't need to worry about it. So go check that out. The second component is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically the amount of calories you burn through sitting, walking, talking, etc. In order to increase this, all you have to do is increase your activity level by walking instead of taking the car or taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Basic things. The third component is physical activity, which is energy burned through exercise. Now this refers to calories that you burn through weightlifting at the gym or doing Zumba, dancing, jogging, running, whatever is your preferred mode of exercise. Now the last component is thermic effect of food which is basically the energy required for your body to ingest, digest and absorb all your food. So now that we've covered all the components of this equation, I'm going to show you how to apply it and be able to achieve your goals by manipulating two of these variables, namely the energy input and physical activity. Alright, so now that we've covered the main concept, like the main equation that you all need to know, I'm going to show you how to apply it in very simple maths problems. Um, it's nothing intimidating, it's very very simple. I'm going to break it down for you all, I'm going to do it with you. So if you feel like you learn better by writing, then feel free to just pause the video right now, go get a notebook, get a pen and do this with me. So meet me. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. Now I want you all to understand that in order to lose one pound or half a kilo, I need to be in a deficit of 3500 calories. Now adding a time frame to that, if I want to lose one pound every week, I need to be in a deficit of 500 calories per day. Now I'm going to show you a few ways you can achieve this. So the first method would be to increase energy expended through physical activity and keep everything else pretty much the same. So for the sake of this example, Let's assume that I'm eating about 1700 calories per day, my BMR is 1600 and that I burn about 100 calories through NEAT and 180 through TEF every day. In order to lose 1 pound per week, I need to be in a deficit of 500 calories, which basically means that net energy needs to be minus 500 per day. Adding all the values that we know into this equation, we get X to be 320 calories which is the amount I need to burn through physical activity in order to achieve my goal. 
Now the second method would be simply to decrease my energy input or the amount of food I consume. So for this example again, let's assume that my BMR is still at 1600, I burn about 100 calories through NEAT, um, 0 through physical activity since we're not talking about exercise here, and 180 through TEF. Now again, we need net energy to be minus 500 calories per day. So adding all these known values into this equation, we get x as 1380 calories, which is the amount I need to eat if I want to achieve my goal without doing physical activity. Now obviously the third method would be to alter both physical activity and your energy input in order to sort of, you know, balance it out. If you are someone who's looking to gain weight at a rate of one pound per week, simply change the net energy value to plus 500 calories per day and you'll be able to figure it out. So that's it guys. I hope at this point you have a better understanding of how weight gain and loss really works. So this brings me to the end of today's video and I really hope that it helped y'all. You really learned something today. But if you feel like, you know, you have more questions that haven't been answered through this video, please feel free to leave me a comment down below or just DM me on Instagram. If you really are thorough with this concept right now, I'm sure uh, you're feeling a lot more confident in terms of your fitness journey. So if you'd like me to make more of such videos and if you like the content of this one, please take a minute right now to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button which gives you notifications every time I upload a new video and also please share this with your friends and family, whoever you think this may help and I will see you in the next one. Bye.